fear gets in your way, it locks you up. So, well, how do you get fearless? How do you get to that point where you're completely confident in what you're doing? Well, one way is to practice, 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 you know, make it make 10 years of it, 20 years of it, right? You've been playing soccer since you were, you know, six years old, and you just get to the point that, that you feel really confident, and you build that confidence very slowly over years of, of playing it. Uh, all you're doing is you're, you are getting rid of the fear. It's the fear that is the problem, you see. Now, there's another way to approach it that doesn't necessarily take 20 years, and that, I mean, you still have to build up the muscle and the, and the memory and the skill that's necessary, but you almost anybody can do that. You know, take, take the Olympic people, you know, what's the difference between the guy that gets a gold medal and the guy that doesn't get any medals at all? Well, they both have been doing it for years. They both have skill. They, they all know how to swim or run or jump or whatever it is they're doing. They're all excellent at it. Okay, so why does the one guy win? Well, the guy that wins is the guy whose mind is together and he doesn't have any fear. He has confidence so he doesn't make any mistakes and everything flows perfectly. That's the guy that wins. You know, it's the, that's the difference. Most athletes will tell you it's a, it's a mental game more than it is anything else. When you're not together mentally, you just don't play well. So another way to get to that same spot is start with the meditation and, and learn that it's not about the win, actually. It's about doing your best. It's about being 100% present in what you're being, you know, what you're doing. Not just 80% or 90% with your mind jumping around on a few other things, but 100% present on what you're doing. That takes focus. That focus is basically mental discipline. And you get mental discipline after, you know, 10, 20 years of doing something, but you can get mental discipline also through meditation, through learning about your consciousness. So you can develop that, that um, attitude, that winner's attitude, that gold medal attitude by coming down the, the mind, dealing with your consciousness and your mind, not necessarily from doing 10, 20 years worth of work. In other words, you get there a lot quicker. Well, you still have all the skills. You still have to practice. It's not like you can skip practice, you know, if you meditate. You still have to put in the time, you know, to learn and get the skill and, and um, that sort of thing it has to be done. But most really professional athletes have that already together. I mean, that's what makes them professional athletes. They have the skill. They have the understanding of the game and they have, they have the skills to do it. What makes the superlative athlete is that he's got no fear. He's confident. He's, he's totally focused on what he's doing. He's 100% in the flow of the game. And when you're in the flow of the game like that, you know, you can anticipate things. You know where that ball's going or where that next thing is going to happen. You know that guy's going to do what he does because you're in touch at a little higher level than just the physical world. You're connecting with the, the probabilities in play as well as the facts in play. Because once you're in that calm state, the probabilities in play, you have access to that. You don't have access to it, access to it otherwise. So you start to anticipate things and you know what's going to happen and you know how that, that's, you know, the next three seconds or five seconds, what's going to go on. And when you do, you know how to deal with it. Get around it, get over it, get through it, you know, because you already know that that person's going to zig and you're going to zag and you're going to get right by him because you've anticipated what's going to happen. Now, the clearer your mind is and the more solid you are, the more that, anticip that anticipation is dead on. It's right. The, mo the more uh, confidence you have, the more that, that uh, anticipation is dead on. So you can get that confidence by disciplining your mind, understanding what you're doing, and you don't go, you can kind of put yourself in that state where you're in game state, you know, and from there on, you go and it just flows. And you know, when you're in those kind of spots, you play good games and you play bad games, no doubt. Everybody, everybody has. And when you're in that good game where just everything flows, you just need to know what to do. And, and it's just all the choices and guesses you make, they all just turn out right and everything works. And that is when your mind is focused on what's going on and your mind has the discipline to connect to the, the, those probabilities. So you can anticipate what's going to happen next. So this, you know, this, this mental state, it's about everything. You know, theory of everything means, you know, soccer or something. It's, it's part of that everything. And it does say, you know, what, what is it that makes that special player that just seems to get everything right on a particular day? What's different about him? And what's different is his mental state. That's what's different about him. It's not that his training suddenly got better or his understanding of the game got better. No, that's not it. It's his mind clicked into place and he was focused. So you can practice that through the meditation, through understanding mind and get there much more solidly to where you like that almost every game. Well, sometimes stuff goes on in your life and it gets in your way and you don't focus quite as well. And you still have to be good. But there's a difference between being really good and being awesome, right? And when you're, when you're awesome, it's just everything flows just perfectly. That's, that's the mind, the mental state. That's, that is not a training. Not, it's not suddenly your training gets better. It's not suddenly your understanding of the game gets better. What changes is your, your attitude, your mind. And what, what, what actually happening is you're letting go of fear. You're letting go of all those things going on in your mind that aren't playing that game.